and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make five DIY school supplies and more inspired by candy push pops. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see future DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. The first project I will show you is a DIY mini notebook. So to get started, you will need a cardboard tube. I'm going to use one from gift wrap. You can also use a toilet roll or a paper towel one. I'm just going to mark that off at four inches. Then I wrap some painter's tape around it to make the line that I'm going to cut straight. Next, I took the piece that I just cut, wrapped a piece of painter's tape around it, down the middle, and then cut on the line. Now cut out a piece of cardstock and glue the cardboard tube to the piece of cardstock. Trim off the excess cardstock. Using another piece of cardstock, hot glue on the cardboard tube and then glue that to the cardstock and then trim off any excess. Repeat the same process on the other side. Here's what you should have at this point. Mark off at one and a quarter inch and then wrap some painter's tape around it and then cut that out with an X-Acto knife. I'm going to use some pink acrylic paint to paint the top. Next, I'm going to use a piece of pink thin foam and cut out a strip that is one by four. Place the foam strip in the bottom portion of the cardboard tube, hot glue the seam, then hot glue the foam piece to secure it in place. To make the notebook, gather up some paper, trace around the bottom portion, and then cut out several pieces. Take all those pieces that you cut out along with a piece of cardstock the same size, clip it all together, then with some white Elmer's glue, brush on a thick coat of glue. Once the glue has dried, the notebook will be bound together. Next, head to the link down below to print out this printable. Once it's printed out, then just cut it out, leaving some white portion on the side. Wrap the label around the cardboard and secure it with some glue. Take the sheets of paper that are glued together and glue it down, making sure the cardstock piece is on the bottom. Now in the secret hiding place, add some mini pens, pencils, or even candy. I added some gummy bears. And that is how you make a DIY mini notebook that looks like push pop candy with a secret hiding place. Next project will be DIY mini pens. For this one, you will need some milkshake straws. Mark off at two and a quarter inches and then cut that out. I'm going to use some ink from a mini pen. You can also use ink from a regular size pen. Place the ink in the straw, mark off so the pen won't hang out. Then cut off the excess portion of the ink. To hold the ink in the straw, I'm going to use some Model Magic clay. Take a small piece of the clay, roll it into a snake shape, Place that in the straw, cut off any excess, and then push it in the straw. The whole straw doesn't need to be filled with clay. 
Using a toothpick, I made a hole in the center of the clay. Place the ink into the clay, then set that aside and let the clay harden overnight. Here is mine after the clay was dry. Using a piece of cardstock, I punched a hole in it, then I hot glued around the top of the pen and placed the cardstock on there and cut off the excess. I used a piece of sandpaper to give the circle a clean look. Repeat the same process on the bottom, but without punching a hole in the cardstock. Here's what it should look like at this point. Print out the two printables and then cut them out. Secure the two labels to the straw with some glue. Trim off any excess portion of the label. And that is the DIY mini pen. For the next project, I will show you how to make a DIY lip balm that looks like Push Pop candy. For this, I'm going to use this contact lens case. Cut the piece of plastic that holds the two cases together. Sand down the rest of the plastic piece so it is smooth. Next, you will just want to wash and clean out the inside of the case. Next, I'm going to use a toilet paper roll. Now, I'm just going to cut down the middle of the toilet paper roll. Wrap it around the contact lens case, making sure it fits tight. Mark off the excess, then cut on that line to trim it down to size. Hot glue the seam together. Here is mine after it was glued together. Mark off at one and a half inches, wrap some painter's tape around on the one and a half inch marking, and then cut it out. With a piece of cardstock, apply hot glue to the bottom of the tube and glue it to the cardstock. For the top, make sure to glue the top so that the two ends that were cut match up. Trim off the excess cardstock from both pieces. Sand down the circle so it has a clean look. I'm going to use some pink acrylic paint to paint the top. Now to make the lip balm in a microwave safe container, I'm going to add one tablespoon of beeswax along with one tablespoon of coconut oil. You can also melt down an old chapstick. Place that in the microwave on 15 second increments until it is melted. To tint this one, I'm going to use a piece of lipstick. I just dropped that in the mixture and stirred it until it was melted. Pour the mixture into the case and then set that in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now glue the case to the cardboard. I'm going to use Elmer's clear glue. I tried it with hot glue and it didn't work as I couldn't push the case in fast enough before it stuck. Repeat the same process of gluing the top case to the lid. Print out the printable and then cut it out leaving a little white space on each side. Secure it to the bottom of the container with some glue. And that is how you make DIY lip balm that looks like push pop candy. The next project idea will be a DIY phone case that actually has edible candy in it. For this one I'm going to recycle an acrylic paint bottle. If you don't have an acrylic paint bottle, you can also use some of these bottles from the travel kit. I put painter's tape around the middle of the bottle and then I cut the bottle.
here is what it should look like. I'm going to use one of these plastic containers. I will link this one down below. Sand the edges just a bit. This will help the glue stick. Sand inside the bottle as well. Hot glue the top of the container to inside the bottle. To make the top for the push pop container, I'm going to use another recycled acrylic bottle. Mark off at two inches. Just cut off at the two inch marking. Place the bottom onto the top, mark off on the sides, and then cut that out. Here is what I have at this point. Print out the two printables and then cut them out. Secure both of the labels to the bottles with some glue and trim off any excess. I'm going to use this phone case. I suggest using one that has a hard surface. Apply hot glue only to the candy container and then place that on the phone case. Hot glue along the sides of the top and then match that up with the bottom of the push pop. And if you don't have the supplies to make this one this way, you can also use the same method as the DIY mini notebook in the beginning. Now just remove the bottom, add your favorite candy, and that is how you make this DIY phone case with a secret hiding place for your candy. DIY craft will be a DIY slime notebook made with fluffy slime. To start, I'm going to use a 33.8 ounce smart water bottle. Begin by removing the label. To remove the stickiness from the label, I applied a mixture of baking soda and coconut oil. Apply painter's tape around the middle of the bottle and then cut out the bottle. Here is what it should look like once it's cut out. I'm going to use a sheet of plastic. You can also use a sheet protector. Hot glue along the sides and the bottom of the water bottle and glue that to the sheet of plastic. Trim around the water bottle to remove the excess sheet of plastic. Mark off at five and a half wrap with painter's tape, and then cut it out. Take the top of the water bottle that was just cut out, hot glue along the top, and place on a sheet of plastic. Trim off the excess. Cut out a piece of foam that is one by six and a half inches. Hot glue the ends together. Place the foam in the bottom part of the bottle and using Elmer's clear glue, secure the two together. I use this Mambo Pink spray paint to paint the top. I printed out the label on clear sticker paper so you would be able to see the slime. Once I had it printed out, then I just cut it down to size. Place the sticker on the water bottle and trim off any excess. Now to make the slime, I'm going to start with some Elmer's white glue. Into a bowl, I just added a bottle of the glue. To 
give this slime a scent, I'm going to use Raspberry Rain Shave Gel. Add a little bit of the shave gel to the glue and mix it together. To color this, I'm going to add a few drops of food coloring. The slime activator will be contact lens solution. Add slowly until it starts forming slime. And here is my DIY fluffy slime. This slime is so fun and it smells amazing. Okay, now it's time to start adding the slime to the water bottle. So what I did was I just took a little bit of the slime and I just started adding it to the bottle little by little. I would recommend not adding a lot of slime as it does make the notebook really heavy. Apply hot glue to the bottom and the sides of the bottom portion of the water bottle and secure it to the notebook. Make sure that you don't glue the lid. And that is how to make a DIY slime notebook that looks like a push pop. You can slide the lid on and off to play with the slime. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these DIY school supply, lip balm, and phone case ideas inspired by candy push pops. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.